guys and welcome back to Beverly's Design Time. Tonight I'm back to do another mirror DIY, but let me tell you about my open collaboration first. This open collaboration is for anyone who wants to participate. It's a simple and fun collab where you use my new technique called the BIB technique and BIB stands for Beat It Baby. One of my beautiful subscribers came up with that name. By doing the collab, it would allow for this technique to get out there more. A lot of weddings will take place in the next few months, so people are looking for ways to save money. This technique would allow them to make beautiful centerpieces and more. And let's not forget that Mother's Day is right around the corner. You can use this technique to make beautiful gifts while saving money. Also, if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or have a channel that needs more exposure, then this is a great opportunity for you. All participants must have their video uploaded by Monday April the 16th so that it can go live Tuesday the 17th. Oh, and I do have one rule, and that is you must have fun. This is not a competition. I'll leave info and contact information in the description box below. Feel free to tell your favorite YouTubers about this collab. I'm tagging Bargain Bethany, Sharon, She's So Fabulous, and Hannah's Daily Life. I hope you beautiful ladies join me in my collaboration. I'm really excited about it. Let's have some fun. Now on with the DIY. Okay guys, this DIY is going to be a whole lot simpler than the one that I did before. I'm actually going to work this one out on camera as well. So here's the things that I'll be using. I picked up this die cut sheet at Michael's. And I think it was about $1.99, but it's really pretty. And it says... Um, beautiful at the bottom and we have the square mirror that I picked up at Michaels okay guys I'm back I had to leave but yeah I also picked up this wood panel at Michaels and I actually purchased this to do another DIY that I'll do later on in the year but yeah um, I'm gonna be using this some brilliant silver Krylon spray paint some E6000 and this high strength spray adhesive and I picked this up at Michael's also. So I guess this is more like a Michael's craft. And I'm also going to be using this German glass glitter. I've seen this used on YouTube, so I figured I'd give it a try. But I'll leave a link to where I purchased this from in the description box as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my die cut. And I'm going to take this outside and spray paint it silver. Now you guys know I love my silver. But you can spray paint this any color you want to. I know I have some subscribers that really like gold, and I'm actually going to start doing more gold DIYs on my second channel, The Venus Crafts, and I'll leave a link to the channel below too. So what I'm going to do now, take this outside, spray paint it, and then I'll come back. Okay guys, I'm back, and this is what it looks like painted silver. And now you can see more of the words on the inside. There's love, pretty, loving this life. And again, there's beautiful at the bottom. This is really gorgeous. I'm using this red tissue paper in the back so you guys can see it better. The next step I want to do is add the German glitter glass to the front of this. And I thought about using the spray adhesive, but it's dark outside and I really don't want to set the camera up. It's kind of spooky out back at night. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use some Mod Podge instead. So now I'll just go ahead and take some Mod Podge and brush it on. Alright guys, so let's try this German glass out and see what it looks like. It's really pretty. Wow, look at that. That's really pretty. Wow, 
Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. So I'm going to repeat those steps until the whole thing is covered. guys I'm back and this has been sitting up for about 30 minutes but it still needs some more dry time so while it's drying I'm gonna go ahead and add it to this wooden panel I went ahead and painted the outside of the wooden frame silver because we're gonna bling that out also so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two pieces together using E6000 okay so I'm putting on a mask and I also have the door open So now I'm just going to spread some of the E6000 on the panel. Alright, so now I can add my mirror. All three of these pieces line up perfectly together. So I'm going to let this set up for a couple of hours. Then I'll come back and we'll trim out the edge with some type of bling and we will be done. Okay guys, I'm back and it's about two hours later and this is what the mirror looks like so far. I have some overspray of the spray adhesive. I actually did like three layers. Next time I'll do two, but this is really pretty. So now what I want to do is just go ahead and add some bling on the side. And I decided to go with the mesh bling. I have this roll that I've been using for months now. And it's still going. And I'll leave a link in the description to where you can purchase this. What I want to do is cover each side with the bling. And I pre-measured. So it's going to take about five rows to go from the bottom to the top. So let's just cut five rows of the bling. One, two, three, four, five. So I need four strips with five rows of bling. All right, so now let's see how long it needs to be. I just need to do the rest of them the same way okay guys so this is how it's going to look on the side and I'm going to use some of the Dollar Tree fix all to adhere this onto the frame guys so that's how that's looking so far I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two sides off camera and when it's dry I'll come back and move on to the next step okay guys I'm back and this is what my completed mirror looks like this is what the sides look like 
and I used a picture hanging kit from Family Dollar. Since I had already completed the mirror, I just put this book down and laid this down for cushion. Now, when you get this kit, they have some really short nails. Use these. Let's see if you can see that. They have this length, and they have this length that's right between them. But use the really short ones because you don't want it to go all the way through and hit your mirror. But when you're hammering the nail in, just be real gentle and cushion your glass. So yeah, guys, this is it, and it's really beautiful. I think this would really stand out in a set of three. You can hang them in your foyer, in your bedroom, in your dining room, pretty much wherever you want to. But yeah, guys, this is it. I hope you guys like this, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you are a subscriber, please make sure that you turn on your post notifications. And if you aren't a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. I would truly love to have you join my YouTube family. So yeah, guys, this is it. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.